The world's fattest man passes away. I'm Kat Jovi and I have all the details for you right here on IO. Keith Martin passed away from pneumonia after a long battle with his weight. When Keith was in his 20s, he began to put on weight very, very quickly, almost ballooning out. Over the years, he eventually came to weigh about 980 pounds. God, that poor guy! Not surprising, he became bed bound, unable to walk, and didn't leave his home for 10 years. You may be wondering, how could someone come to weigh this amount? Well, he eats in calories a day about 200,000, most of it being cheap junk food. You want an example? This is a typical day, apparently, for what he eats a six egg full breakfast with bacon, sausage, then pizzas, kebabs, Chinese food, takeaways, Big Macs for lunch and dinner, all washed down with six. Pints of coffee and two liters of fizzy drinks. I thought that I did binge eating. Oh my god, that doesn't even compare. Finally, he did get to a point where he realized that things really had to change in his life, and he lost a little bit of weight in order to do a surgery where three quarters of his stomach would be removed. Before the surgery happened, he was interviewed, and he said, I resigned myself that either I was going to die in my bed or I was going to kill myself. But now I think, you stupid person. I'm a lot more confident than I used to be. I feel a lot happier. And in a few months' time, I want to be able to be up and walking. He said, I know I'm the only person to blame and all that time wasted, well I'm not going to be wasting it anymore. Good for you Keith. He was seeming very confident after the surgery and he did actually lose a lot of weight, which was fantastic. However, he did suffer from a lot of illnesses and sadly eventually got pneumonia and passed away. After this, his surgeon actually called the government and was trying to get them to start doing a junk food tax to try to aid in obesity and make it less of a thing with the public. Keith left behind his two sisters. Sharon and Tina who cared for him for many many years. They of course are now grieving and do miss him very much. I'm Kat Jovi, this is IO and my question to you, do you think a junk food tax would dissuade people from eating too much? Would it dissuade you? Comment down below, let us know.